All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue. This is part four of the video series, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. And we've been talking about uh, certain fundamentals that a person should have uh, in order to understand and study the Bible correctly. Uh, there are, are certain uh, doctrines in the Bible that are so clear and reinforced over and over again, verse after verse after verse. And uh, we can clearly see this in our uh, the Gospel of Salvation, uh, in that the verses over and over again will tell us that we're saved by the grace of God through our faith in Jesus Christ. And it's not by any religious works that we do. Uh, and I've given, in previous videos, dozens and dozens of, of verses to make that point. Uh, and yet, what some people are going to do is they, they want to throw out all of those verses and this established doctrine because of a, one particular problem verse that they send me. Uh, or even if you have a few problem verses, uh, you don't throw out the established doctrine uh, because of a problem verse. What you try to do is you try to better understand that verse. Have you had any dealings with that kind of thing? Yeah, of course. And you have to... Uh, Jesus Christ, He is the foundation. He is the author and the finisher um, of our faith. And, and as the Bible says, the mechanics of salvation, the Bible says um, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believed. Um, uh, and as Paul says, now brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you have received, and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel, you are saved. Um, if you hold firmly um, uh, unto the word I preached to you, otherwise you have believed in vain. And, and what was preached is that Christ died for our sins, that He was buried, that He rose again. This is what needs to be preached out in the streets. This is what needs to be preached on YouTube so people get saved. This, this is what has to be preached. I mean, the people that are preaching uh, anything else, they're ashamed of the Gospel. And the Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the Gospel, for the Gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So if you're not preaching the Gospel, um, if you're not preaching Jesus died on the cross, uh, for your sins and, and what He did on the cross um, is what saves you and, and that He rose from the dead and that He is God and that you're saved by grace through faith alone. If you're not preaching this, then you're wasting your time and the devil is absolutely rejoicing um, that you're not preaching the cross because the, the Bible says the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those that are perishing but to us that are saved it is the power of God to salvation. So I have provided in previous videos uh, so many uh, verses that, that clearly show us that um, we are we are saved through our faith in Jesus Christ without any requirements of religious work on our mm -hmm. part at all. And yet, even though I provided scores and scores of verses to make that point, and even though the Apostle Paul has clarified it in his epistles so that there can be no misunderstanding about this, I receive uh, uh, comments and emails from people all the time trying to show me a verse to disprove it. But what, what they're trying, they're doing there is really a, 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 a horrible, uh, mistaken thinking because you cannot take a problem verse and use it to override the rest of the Bible. And, and the uh, and the established doctrine that uh, can't be disputed. So what they should try to do is uh, try to better understand the problemers, and that's what we're going to do in the balance of the uh, uh, the series here. We're going to go. We're going to address some of those problem verses that they don't understand. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, before we get to this, I mean, you look at Romans chapter four, verse five. But to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. The Bible says it's with your heart that you believe and are justified. Um, so, uh, as the Scripture says, what must I do to be saved? And, and that's a question. Uh, believe on, on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and so... Um, uh, 
the Bible says, like Jesus said, for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son for whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. He who believes is not condemned. Mm-hmm. Well, one of the things that we want to ask people to, uh, to do is that uh, the, some of the verses we've cited already, and, uh, and there's, as I said, they seem like an endless uh, list of verses that make the same point, that it's faith alone. Uh, I, I'd like for anybody watching this who doesn't agree that we're saved through faith alone uh, to teach me what those verses mean. What does it mean when, when you just said, to the man who does not work but trust God, his faith is credited as righteousness. What does that mean? Explain that to me. If that doesn't mean what it says, it, to me it's clearly saying to the man who does not work at all, who does not do any religious work, which includes repentance or, or anything else, uh, if they do nothing but simply have faith, their faith is credited as righteousness. So, uh, explain. I, wa- I invite you to try to explain some of these verses. Uh, that, that that's what's... That's what they, they don't ever attempt to explain the verses. If they did, they, they'd be faced with a problem that they can't explain it any other way. They're too clear cut. Yeah, and I mean, perfect example of, of uh, the mechanics of salvation, the thief on the cross. The one thief says to, to Jesus, if you're the Son of God, uh, if you're the Messiah, take yourself down, take us down. Um, he didn't believe. The other thief rebukes him, says, don't you fear God? This man has done nothing wrong. He declares Jesus is... Uh, uh, his innocence um, but we are getting what our deeds deserve uh, he recognized his sin he recognized that he deserved punishment for his sin and what does he do the only thing he can do I mean he's nailed to a cross there's nothing he can do but believe with his heart and confess with his mouth Lord remember me when you come into your kingdom and, and that shows you that salvation is by grace he through was trusting faith Jesus alone. Christ and he put his added. trust completely on Jesus Christ So, well, uh, we'll continue uh, in the next uh, video with this.